this message is for Joshua. This is Steve with the Utah Division of Wildlife. I'm calling you because we had a Henry Mountains archery bison permit surrendered to us um, that starts January 17th and goes until January 31st. Um, the permit fee would be $453 if you decide to accept it. Um, it'd be just as if you drew, so you'd lose your bison points and incur the lifetime waiting period. Um, I need to hear back from you no later than Tuesday by the end of the day. So Tuesday, January 2nd um, by 5 p.m. As guides for our own company, we are usually helping others who draw big tags here in Utah. We've been a part of some amazing Henry Mountain buffalo hunts, but it's not often that one of us guides draw our own tag. The Henry Mountains provide a unique opportunity for hunts. It's 100% public land with one of three remaining pure bloodline herds of the North American bison. It's a once in a lifetime hunt and typically takes 20 plus years to draw. These buffalo are far from plains animals. They have no problem hanging out at 10,000 feet elevation or low in the ledge bands. The most challenging part of the January archery hunt is the five different rifle hunts that lead up to the day before the archery opener. With heavy snow, you can expect access to be challenging as well. You're about to watch a hunt filled with all of those challenges and more. morning. We gotta get sunsets. <laughs> <laughs> Opening day in your mountains. This guy. Look at the camera please. <laughs> Has an archery Henry Mountains vice tag. And I think everybody thinks that these are plains animals. But as you can tell from behind us, they are not. They are not easy to find. So, it's a 12 degrees. you have weather elements and the fact that they are scattered and pressured all the way up until January with four different hunts. So, we're doing it with a bow as well. So, we have to add that element in. But, we're going to find one. We're going to get one. Henry Mountain's trip without some truck issues. Just as we got chains on my truck, we got belt issues on that.
should go down. It should go down and around. Maybe. Like, like get on the backside right away. Huh? Like get on the backside right away. Yeah. What do we what do we got going on? What day is it? Day three. What do we got going on? Oh, we're going off road today. Going <laughs> <laughs> to freeze. We got, yeah, we're gonna join the freeze. We got the manpower. Yeah, we got the whole crew. Today's the day. The A team. Slacking, huh? Jake, you warm? Oh Ooh. yeah. I don't even know how many layers I got on. <laughs> Would the A team like to say hi? Who's that? The, oh. the A team, you two. Oh, we're, <laughs> we're gonna we're find them now. The help's here. Senior citizen. <laughs> we're getting. We're getting serious now. We got side by sides and bikes. Got a little nippy going over the pass there, eh, hair? <laughs> my, my contacts froze. So that was cool. My fingers are <laughs> Fingers are fine. I couldn't blink. Got the whole crew. Oh. <laughs> it's right over here. Right in that square. We are going. How do you feel about it? <laughs> it's deep. To... See that peak? <laughs> it's not that one. <laughs> I don't even care. Well, I have no shame in showing people because if you want to hike up there, go for it. <laughs> We're going to leave Caleb on the spotter. Dad on the spotter. Dad on the spotter. We got Dad and Eric probably on their way to help spot, but me, Josh, and Jake are going. We're gonna go stick an arrow in one and then we'll figure out how to get it down later. Super steep. This stuff we just came through was an absolute nightmare. We're hurting. It was a nightmare. <laughs> this is the worst part. <laughs> But we're almost through it. We are finally on the same side as them. But we just came through this nasty, nasty hole. Luckily there was an old trail that cut through all those aspens, but it was about two to three feet of snow. We're 
we're two and a half hours into the stock. And we got a ways to go, but they're right there. We just gotta get down and across. Jake's being a trooper though. You know it. The majority of your energy, the majority yeah. of your heat, escapes through your head. We're on the same side as the bison. But where are we on their side? We're down here. <laughs> We're way up there. You can see that cloud? They passed the cloud. High in the sky. But we're on the same face. So we're, we're pretty much there. Right? Yeah. 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 Can you get it done? Send in another one. We have a good board trail right here to follow from shots one or two. We are at exactly 10,000 feet. Making, making the important calls home. Dad, you have no clue what the hell we just went through to get here. ourselves right now. Um, we got it at, and we gotta get off the mountain. It is freezing. We are at 10,000 feet where we shot it. And we gotta climb down almost 2,000 feet so which wouldn't be bad 
if it wasn't for the knee deep snow. But we're gonna do it. We're gonna be back here tomorrow. We're gonna get his bull out. We are up on the summit. We got Mr. Evans with a giant head. Caleb, Eric, Jake. Yeah, it wouldn't be a PSC pack out without a gusty wind coming in. Is it cold? Oh, not now. Here we go. All right, go ahead. About an hour in. How's everybody feeling? Really good. Really solid. So great. Huh. <sighs>